Hello all, welcome to binaryhackers.com. This is the part 10 of Wireshark training. In this video, I am going to show you the name resolution and how the name resolution works about the MAC address and transport layer in the Wireshark. Open the Wireshark protocol analyzer and open the preferences in the Wireshark. In that preferences, I am going to show you how the name resolution work. So click on this little icon edit preferences the wireshark so it will open the pop-up window the wireshark preferences now go to the name resolution the first thing i'm going to show you the resolve mac address so what is the meaning of resolve mac address and how it's actually work for that it's uh, notice that is a check on the selected bar so resolve mac address is on now I'm going to select my local area connection interface and let's start the capture. And now it's starting the capture. Let's stop it. So select this packet. I'm going to select this packet uh, 508. So in the Ethernet 2, this is the MAC address field. You can see the source MAC address is cc b255 b1 8 d db and the first three bytes are the cc b255 but in the source mac address you can see it resolve that name like d link i n and after after that the last three bytes so last three byte, uh, bytes is your unique identifier number a unique identifier byte of the mac address and first three bytes it's related with the particular vendor or particular company so how Wireshark will resolve that uh, particular vendor from the MAC address and the answer is go to this directory C program file Wireshark where you Wireshark is installed and open this file MANUF it's a manufacturer so I'm going to open this file in notepad plus plus and you can see right here there are the first three bytes of the MAC address and it's related with the particular vendor and the description of the vendor or the name of the vendor company corporation so this is responsible this file is responsible for the Wireshark uh, how to Wireshark will resolve that MAC address uh, name so you can edit this file for this example I'm going to use uh, edit this D link. Just go to CC B255. Now let's control F and type this address CC B255. And when I find this address, you can see the D link will appear right here. See right here. The D link is the name of that particular vendor, the first three byte of the MAC address. So I'm going to edit this and for this example, yes, I'm going to type my name Rahul and save this file. Now let's start, let's capture again. Select the interface, start the capture and stop and you can see the D-Link address, the CCB255, it is resolved by the name Rahul because I changed that file and that vendor name dealing to Raul. So the broadcast for this particular MAC address is resolved by the name Rahul in Wireshark. So how this uh, this is the MAC address resolution work in the Wireshark. So let me correct this in the previous dealing. Okay. So the second one is the resolve transport names. So what is the resolve transport name and how it's work? So first let me uncheck that, click on the apply and start a new capture. Local area connection start and let's quickly go to my Google, open the Google Chrome and okay my way home page is google.com and the google side is load now let's stop the capture
Okay, now go. Let's for this example. Let me show you some. Uh, like this packet. Okay, this packet is uh, the information you can see. The port number is eighty right here, and it's go to the one one eight five port. So this is the transport layer port. Uh, the Wireshark. Resolve that port by its name HTTP. So this is port number eighty, and if uh, if you check this button to resolve a transport name, so it will display that port number eighty, uh, and remove that port number eighty and display the name HTTP. Let me show you. If I check this resolve transport names and click on the apply, Let's take some time. And on the port number eighty, you can see the HTTP is appeared. So port number eighty is uh, port number eighty is assigned for the HTTP protocol. So Wireshark will give a name for that particular protocol. So this is the use of the transport re uh, name resolution, a transport name resolve. So how it's work? How the Wireshark will know that the port number eighty is for HTTP protocol? And the answer is this directory. It's a Windows sys C drive, Windows System 32 driver, etc folder, and that folder just open this services file. And I highly recommended you that if you don't know about this file and the modification, don't do any modification in this file because this will corrupt your uh, some protocol or some network connection. So here you can see this is all it's all the names of the services. These are the port number and the protocol name of the particular services. So why shall resolve this port number eighty to HTTP from this file? This is the service file, default file, and it's available in every uh, Windows, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows Seven, Windows Eight. Every Windows, this file is installed by defaultly when we install the Windows operating system, and why shall we resolve that port number and port name from this? So this is all for this video. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.